What's going on guys, it is Brad or Demon Asylum here, I'm bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. I'm going to be showing you all the best variation of the dog meat duplication glitch to get unlimited amounts of any items that are in a stack. Now this will work for stacks of any types of items including resources, however if you're specifically interested in duplicating stacks of resources, I recommend checking out the variation of this glitch I uploaded a day or two ago as that is what in my opinion is a bit better than this one. It only works for resources though. If you guys want to check that video out. I'll put a link to it in the description below and an annotation on the screen. If you guys want to duplicate stacks of anything else such as like ammo which I'll be showing in this video, this is the duplication glitch or the variation of the glitch that you guys are going to want to use. So first of all, let me show you guys here that I am on the most recent patcher update as of today, January 3rd, 2016, version 1.2.37.0.0. You can see it in the bottom right hand corner of this little settings menu. If you guys want further confirmation of that, you can look it up on Google. Then what we're going to want to do is drop our stack of items we want to duplicate here. Uh, I'm going to be using 44 rounds as it's one of the only stacks of ammo I have not duplicated before. So it just makes it really easy on my end. This will work with any type of ammo, anything under the ammo category, including fusion cores and anything else for that matter that is in a stack, as I said. Then we're just going to want to do the dog meat duplication glitch as normal. Have him pick up the item at the same time as us. If you guys don't know how to do this glitch or you want a better explanation of it, I'll put a link to my video on how to do it in the description as well as an annotation on the screen. As you can see, he only drops one round. A lot of people always come to me and say that the glitch isn't working because of this. This is exactly what is supposed to happen when you're doing the glitch. He's only supposed to drop one round. Now what you want to do is while that round is still on the ground, you want to go ahead and drop your ammo, your original stack you just duplicated. You want to drop that a second time. And then you will see that your one round updates the number amount of it to 160, which is the same amount as what your stack will have, or in this case, what my stack has. Now what we're going to want to do for this variation of the glitch is have Dogmeat duplicate your original stack again. And you can have him duplicate your original stack as many times as you want. For the sake of keeping this video short, I'm only going to do this twice. As you guys can see, he dropped another single 44 round, and the other one is right here. Now what we're going to want to do is drop your original stack again. And you will now notice that both of your rounds, both of your single rounds have updated to say the same amount as your stack. Again, you can do this as many times as you want before this next step. So if you want to do it more than two times as I have here, you can feel free to do so. What you're going to want to do once you have whatever amount of them duplicated that you want is go to your settings here and you're going to want to click on quick save, manually quick save there. And then you're going to want to go back into the settings and you're going to want to choose to quit to the main menu. This will only take a second here. Once you guys are on the main menu, you're then going to want to go and click on continue. And you're going to want to choose that quick save that you just manually created. Now the loading screen will take a second here as I am on console unfortunately for this. Uh, so I will see you guys in just a moment. Alright guys, so I am back and as you can see now, the two individual rounds that came from Dogmeat duplicating actually look like stacks. And they all still say 160. Three of these should come out to be 480. So we'll just go ahead and check that real quick. As you can see, we do in fact have 480 of them now. Let me drop them on the ground one more time so you guys can see them. And also so you can see that yes, they are dropped in individual stacks. They did not merge together. However, if you guys want to know how to merge stacks together for whatever reason to make a larger individual stack, I will link in my video on how to do that in the description below as well as put an annotation on the screen. And like I said, for this glitch guys, you do not only have to do it two times. If you guys want to duplicate your stack 20 times before you you quick save quit to the main menu and then load your save back up to have 20 of your original stack you can do that there is no limitation to this unless you get to the point where maybe you have so much that your game is going to crash but you would have to be doing it a really really crazy amount and with also very very large individual stack sizes so most of you probably don't have anything to worry about with that Anyway, I do believe that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys have any questions or concerns, as usual, post about them in the comment section. I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can and help in any way that I can. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like on it down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching, everyone, and peace out.